what are some of the tactics or strategies you use to keep to build a team and to, to make it um have them together and working together are there any sort of processes and systems or tactics that you would recommend in terms of continuing to build the team and momentum mm -hmm. uh yes so a few strategies one um that's more on the human level is i just before especially long meetings i really suggest taking two minutes and going around in a circle and everyone in 10 seconds just share like what's shaping how you're coming into this meeting. And it could be, hey, I'm, I've been in back-to-back -back meetings, but I'm ready to go. Or it could be, I didn't sleep well last night, but I'm ready to go. Or it could be, hey, I've got three things that I'm juggling right now and I'm going to try and be a present, but it's hard for me. Right. But if we are lacking that context, then we're constantly making stories up about why people are showing up the way they are. And it's overlaid on every conversation in a way that's unhelpful. So decoupling how people are doing from the conversations re really important. So it's it's just a very short tool, like what I would call a check-in, uh, just a very short tool for developing personal relationships and gaining context. In other words, you're acknowledging people for where they are as people. Yeah. Rather than just saying, uh, job to be done, let's get on with it. Uh, let's go jump in yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah because then people are inevitably carrying with them uh, the conversation they just had and it's going to color what they're how they're showing up here and i'm i'm going to personalize it and then i'm going to be mad and then it's going to cause more challenge mm -hmm. um so the check-in is really helpful uh mm -hmm. for team dynamics uh, i think that having goals tracked we need to make very clear agreements who will do what by when. And it seems foundational and most companies do not do that well. Let's get very good at clear agreements. Who will do what by when and how are we tracking it and how will we know it's done? And so having either a dashboard or some sort of system in place to track agreements and they could be larger agreements, meaning a current project or initiative, or they could literally be, I'm going to reach out to the lawyer and then I'm going to circle back to you and let you know what I found out. But those things go into individual to-do lists and then they get lost mm -hmm. and that erodes trust and, and it also erodes productivity and momentum. So just simple, let's, okay, what's our system? And you have to get on the same page. Let's use one system. Everybody use one system. Mm -hmm.